Left tank is 884. I love exploring, and this is an opportunity to explore a beautiful wonder of the Missouri. The average flow rate of the spring is about 70 cubic feet per second, and so it does vary a lot. It'll vary from like 15 cubic feet per second up to like currently it's flowing about 300 cubic feet per second. And uh, so the, a lot of that is dependent upon uh, the local rain. It, whenever there's rain, it increases the flow for a while uh, and it will gradually start going back down. The first dive was not a very good one. Uh, they had had heavy rains the week before and uh, so we only had about five foot of visibility. And so we were really stumbling around in the dark a lot. Uh, we did eventually make it down to the restriction but uh, it, it was not a very easy dive to do. We were able to get through the restriction at 225 feet for the very first time. And my big concern was getting back out again with the flow, uh, getting wedged in. And we were able to go through it and come back out. Well, it's always exciting whenever you uh, get to explore uh, an area that nobody's ever been. It, uh, but at the same time, there's a lot of trepidation because you don't know what's there. And uh, it was really nice to be able to see that the restriction was fairly short and I was going to be able to turn around easily. So to put this in perspective, the limits for recreational diving is 130 feet. Then at around 140 to 150 feet, we have to start adding helium to the mix to reduce the narcotic level. Um, and so the restriction that we're talking about is at 230 feet. So that's the equivalent of about 23 stories below the surface of the water. And so we went through the restriction.
Then we started following a tunnel. After about 50 feet or so in the tunnel, the floor dropped away from us, the right hand wall left. I came back up towards the ceiling because there was a there was a fissure or a crack up in the ceiling and we started running that crack for a while. Every once in a while I would dip down and I would look and pretty soon we couldn't see the left wall either. Or the right wall or the floor. The floor was completely gone. Uh, my primary tools when making a, an underwater survey in the cave are uh, my survey book and I have a compass to get uh, uh, the magnetic bearing and the dive line is used for getting the distance and my dive computer is used for getting the depth and with those three numbers uh, we can calculate the survey legs that uh, allow us to make a line plot of the cave. Today's dive, uh, we had to modify plan a little bit uh, because of an equipment issue, um, but we were still able to to achieve all of our objectives. So, I mean, all in all, I thought today's dive was as, as fantastic as it could have been. Today's dive, uh, in a word, went smooth. Um, everything Mike and I did today, it was just, it was like butter. It went really, really easy. We're hoping that we'd be able to extend the bottom depth a little bit, uh, but we were working with some new equipment, and so we were going to be over cautious. And so, personally, I thought there's about a 70% chance we were going to call the dive at some point during the dive, but. Everything ran so smoothly, uh, we just kept on rolling and, uh, and we rolled down to a depth of 472 feet. That depth is pretty significant because the previous depth record of a cave in the United States is at 462. So we were able to uh, surpass that depth by a little bit. <laughs> 